In today's video, I show you how to set up and configure Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a cloud-based network that helps improve the security, performance, and reliability of internet-connected websites and services. Let's get Cloudflare set up. Before we get started, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter yet, I'll leave a link below. It's a monthly publication with unread news, written out guides, and more. Sign up now so you don't miss out. On to Cloudflare. First thing we're going to do is head over to Cloudflare's site, and I'll leave a link in the description for this, but it's cloudflare.com. First thing we're going to do is click sign up. We're going to choose the free account, so go ahead and hit add website. It's going to want an account, so let's put an email here and a password, verify we're human, and sign up. Now we need to enter our domain details, so I'm going to put in one that I've got that I don't ever use, then continue. And it wants to sell us a plan. We're going to scroll down. We'll just maintain the free one and hit continue. Under manual entry, I'm going to click quick scan, and it's going to look for existing DNS records. And that's what it's found. Everything looks good, so I'm going to hit continue to activation. And what that did was import all the existing DNS records from our other provider. So now they're all going to be in, in Cloudflare itself. What you see here that says zenabs.com is not active on Cloudflare yet. We need to update the name servers at our domain registering site. In my case, that is Namecheap. I'm going to head over there. We'll find the domain name and click manage. And then down under name servers, this is what we need to change. So we're going to drop down and go to custom DNS. And then name server one, name server two is what we need to add in. So we go back to the Cloudflare site. We scroll down a little bit. You'll find both names listed here. So we're going to go copy. Go back to your domain register, paste that in, grab the second one, copy, paste it in, and then save it. Going back to Cloudflare, scroll down a little bit, and we're going to hit check name servers now. And it says here it'll take up to 24 hours for the process to, to fully happen, but it's usually a lot quicker than that. All right, we'll give it a little more time. And after about 10, 15 minutes, went back, refreshed, and it's active now. So now we'll click on the domain name and go into Cloudflare settings. Great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. So let's head over to dnschecker.org to make sure that Cloudflare is actually in possession of the DNS hosting. So open a new tab, we're gonna to go to dnschecker.org. We'll put in a DNS to check. So we'll do radar.zenabs.com. And there you go, you'll see that these IP addresses listed here, these are Cloudflare's addresses. So it's definitely, definitely working. Go back to Cloudflare real quick. Now let's check the SSLs and see if they're secured by Cloudflare as well. We'll open a new tab and we'll go to SSLshopper.com. I'll leave links to these sites in the description so you can easily get to them. We'll go there and we're going to put in our site. In my case, it was radar.zenabs.com. Hit check SSL. It resolves to Cloudflare's IP address. The server type is Cloudflare. Certificate is trusted by all major web browsers. It will expire in 89 days. The host name is listed correctly in the certificate, so we're good. So now it's probably a good time to say, if you're getting some value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps the channel out. All right, let's go back to Cloudflare and on the DNS tab, let's create a new record here. So we're going to go add record and the type, we're going to change this to a C name. And the name, let's call this one vault for our vault warden. Point this to our site, zenabs.com. And after that, we want to make sure that proxy is turned on and then hit save. Now, if we go back to our DNS checker, we can check it out there as well. So let's go vault and there it is. Now, if you need to create any other records, you just do the same thing. Add record, you can do an A record, you know, whatever type you want. There's pretty much everything available is in there. Name, address, if we're doing an A record, you got to have an IP address for this one. Just create as many as you want, save them, and you're good to go. It's a quick and easy one today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Then check out one of these next. And I'll see you in the next one.